Hi, it's Jackie Lewis, and we're here at the Improv in Hollywood, California, at an amazing event called Stand Up for Pits. It's Rebecca Corey's organization, and they help educate and advocate and save pit bulls. We're so excited we have Ricky Lake, Rebecca Corey, of course, and many others. So stay tuned. So here we are at the Improv yes. for our annual Stand Up for Pits event. Yeah, it's the 13th year that this has been happening, and uh, it's sold out. It sells out minutes after the tickets go on sale. It's incredible. And uh, all these amazing people, you know, gather for this cause. And it's really inspiring to be a part of, for sure. And I hear you have a pit bull up for adoption today. We have a very precious pit bull type dog up for adoption. Do you want to meet her? Can you see her or sure. no? Sure, um, we can see her. Oh, this is her. Her name is Mama. <laughs> Can you see her at all? She's partying pretty hard. Um, I'm gonna get, I think, a photo as well. That's so exciting. And I know she well. loves it. She has so much fun. Oh, this is cute. She always wears cute outfits. Yes. And she does need a home. She is available for adoption uh, through Underdog Heroes, and you can email in uh, standupforpits.us. And uh, this is her. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And um, and then uh, tell us like. Obviously, how has the organization been doing with, you know, I mean, it's just been saving many pit bulls, right? Oh, yeah. We've been saving pit bull type dogs now, like I said, for like 13 years. Yes. And, uh, I remember you and, uh, say hello to mama. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we, I think mama might be going home with Mindy. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. My dog would go nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shwee, shwee. Get, get, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been saving pit bull-type dogs for, you know, for uh, 13 years nationwide, and sad that we have to keep saving them. Like, it would be nice if we didn't have to do that, but we do, and we'll keep doing it for as long as it takes, because they're perfect. And um, tell us how people can get involved. Go to standupforpits.us. Get off your couch. Go volunteer. Become a foster. Adopt a dog, stay diligent, be responsible, and educate others about how amazing these dogs are. It's that simple. I love that. And where can people find you on social media? Standupforpits.us is our website. And then you can go to all the socials. Stand Up For Pits on Instagram and, and all that stuff. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Nice see you. Nice to so see good you. to see you. Bye, Mama. I mean, I Bye. Children, so, um, so a lot of media here, people. This is really cool. So tell us what this event means to you. Um, well, uh, look, these are children of, um, you know, uh, mine and ours, and and um, to get people here to realize how incredibly gifted these dogs are, and that all they want is love, and all they want is your attention, and they are so beautiful and wonderful and magical, um, so we just need to push that a little bit harder and know that there's nothing wrong with them. It's the people that might have raised them before you get them, so make sure you find out what's going on. But they are the most beautiful souls ever. So what projects are you up to, Mindy? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a recurring, uh, recurring on the Goldbergs, so I'm doing that, and that's in its 10th season, so it's very exciting. And yeah, I've just got some other stuff uh, in the works. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we're so happy you're on there. Thank you. Any, any Austin Powers 30, or where are we at? I wish. <laughs> I know, the fourth. I, I hope. I, I, I don't give up. So I'm hoping he doesn't either. <laughs> And where can we find you on social media? Um, my uh, Instagram is Mindy Stir, S T E R. Oh, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. Fun. Thank you, too. So here we are at Stand Up for Pits. How's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? Good. Tell everyone your name. My name is Cash Hovey. It's K A S H. Last name is H O V as in Victor E Y. And uh, tell us why you're here tonight. Obviously, you really believe in this cause. I do. Stand up for pits. As I've said, I've had uh, dogs throughout my whole life, uh, Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, uh, Shepherds, Great Danes. So it really is a... Um it's really a pleasure to be here and uh, to be with all these other great artists, and I'm uh, here to support the cause. I love that. 
And um, you have some projects going on right now. I do. Well, I have my show on air with Cash, which you can watch on YouTube. We just had Beverly D'Angelo on. We had uh, my buddy Christopher Paloa on, uh, who has a new Netflix. Uh, I'm sorry, a new Hallmark show. And uh, we have um, Cash Hovey and friends at Film Fest LA at LA Live on November 19th. Come on down. It's going to be a great night. We got Kira Reed Lorsch hosting a Women in Media block. We're going to have a great red carpet, and then we're going to have um, Cash Hovey and friends from 8:30 until closing. We're going to party it up. Well, that's going to be lots of fun. That's great. Lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think you've done a movie recently as well. Yes. Okay. So I do have this movie. It's called uh, The Girl Next Door is Always Screaming. I co-star with uh, Kansas Bowling, who will be at the festival as well. You might remember her from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She was one of the Manson girls named Blue. So uh, she's also a featured filmmaker at our block. We have this movie. We have um, another project that I can start talking about next month. So tune in and keep following me. And uh, yeah, 20. it's been a great 2022, and we're going to rock on harder in 2023. And where can people find you on social media? Sure, it's uh, Cash, K-A-S-H-H-O-V-E-Y. Um, you can s catch me on uh, YouTube. It's On Air with Cash. And uh, yeah, I love um, interacting and uh, connecting with new artists and uh, people to collaborate. So hit me up, come to our festival. Thank you so much. Have Thank fun you. today. Oh, so good to see you, definitely. And I love everything she does with this organization. The animals that they save, you know, changing the way we think about these dogs. And uh, yeah, so it's my pleasure to come out of Malibu to come here to support my friend. Yeah, that's a tr tr it's quite a, a sacrifice on, daylight, on a Sunday on, night. A daylight, daylight yeah. saving, yep, right? Yeah, so yeah. means a lot to you, that's great. I, I will always show up for her. And do you have any animals yourself? Of course. Oh, I, oh, like you know. I have a dog named Dolly. So I had a dog named Mama that passed, sadly, in April. And I have a new rescue dog, a mama dog. She was pregnant and dumped at the shelter, a high-kill shelter. And her name is the Dolly Mama. I love that. Yeah, oh. if I had my phone. Oh, I do have my phone. It's in. Did I leave my phone in the car? I might have, babe. Let me think. Anyway, anyway, Dolly's my my little my little rescue, and uh, there's nothing like rescuing a dog. For me, it's like every day she reminds me and thanks me, and yeah, we get to share this beautiful life. So um, I'm all for saving an animal. So how can people get involved? Well, they can certainly donate money, go on the website, follow Rebecca Corey, and stand up for pits. Uh, it's really an inspiring. What they're doing is just 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 really inspiring. So I say start there and see what Rebecca Rebecca's all about. Well, thank you for taking the thank time. Nice. So uh, tell us about tonight. What are you doing here tonight? I am a massive fan of this organization. I'm so inspired by Rebecca Corey constantly. I'm a big pitbull advocate, dog adoption advocate myself. I'm a volunteer. I just think this is the most, it's like a very dear and near uh, cause to my heart. I have my own pity at home. Um, I love that. Yeah, so I'm just so excited to be here because I love what this organization does. Yeah. And she works so hard at it. She's and, the real and deal. She, and she's making an impact, which is so wonderful. 100% and I think her passion and just the no filter, you know, she has this like very raw passion that I feel that I connect with that I think she just tells it how it is and she gets stuff done and I just am so inspired by everything that Rebecca does, truly. And uh, what projects are you working on right now? I am finishing up the second Final Fantasy game. That's all I can say. No date yet. <laughs> But that's as much as I can say. <laughs> and one thing we noticed, so if you can turn around, yeah. love, 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 love this. So it says, um, stand up for pits, adopt a pit bull. We love that shirt. And you're modeling it beautifully. Thank well, you. It's a hoodie, really. Yes. But it's, it's, it's great. You know, People I get a lot of, I get stopped every time I'm wearing it. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. I love it. Yeah. I told Rebecca, you got to bring this back. <laughs> I think we need it back. Right? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and where can people find you on social media? At Britt Barron. Everywhere on all socials. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Okay. So here we are with Nicole. Yes. So we're at Stand Up for Pits. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great. This is one of my favorite charities to work with. Rebecca Corey, who started this, has been an old friend of mine. And when I first met her, I did not have a pit bull, and she did. She had, uh, had adopted Angel uh, from the Michael Vick uh, fighting ring, and she was very, very excited about her project, and I was su uh, supportive of her being excited. And then we got our own pit bull about probably seven years ago now, and um, it's the greatest dog we've ever had. And I'm now fully in love with how much Rebecca Corey works at this and how everyone in this organization works. To Listen, if there was only two pit bulls in the world, we wouldn't need this organization. There's a lot of pit bulls. And so 
and they need a voice to understand that they're, they're lovely, lovely dogs and they should not be marginalized because there's just too many of them to do that. No, it is a wonderful organization. What advice would you give to people, our audience out there about pit bulls or what they can do with Stand Up for Pits? What, what, I'm sorry, Miss. Oh, what, what, what advice I would give to people about pit bulls? Well, well, actually, more about stand up for pits. Like, how could they get? Oh, involved? oh gosh, uh, standupforpits.com. Go to that. Uh, fi find Rebecca Corey on all of her social media. This is all she freaking talks about. That yes. one. She, all she talks about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, support support all the and, and go to your shelters. And uh, if you want a dog, look at the pit bulls. They're beautiful, beautiful animals. They're so sweet. I have two kids and cats, and they couldn't be nicer. My dog couldn't be nicer and there's so many nice ones out there so please give them a shot and if you see one on the side of the, walking the street you don't have to cross the street they're good dogs just keep going and say hi they love a pet and do you have any projects you can talk about right now um i doing a show on uh, I, my, all my shows have people bigger than me on them so i'm like i don't know they'll talk about it. no i would do a show for <laughs> hbo max called sex lives of college girls the mindy kaling show and i'm doing a reboot of uh, if you watch ca uh, cartoons then you'll then you're paying my bills it's good I do we, a lot of animation. We love cartoons. Yeah, good. Then, then we're all good. And you're, then you're helping. <laughs> and where can we find you on social media? Uh, Sullivan Nicole, at all of it. At Sullivan Nicole. Thank you so much. Have fun. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Bye. I you <laughs> So, uh, tell us your name. My name is Lori Kilmartin. Oh, I thought it was... I don't know. Jackie Cation is uh, the other lady I do a podcast with. Oh, I got it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Okay. And obviously you're a comedian. I'm a stand-up and doing stand-up a long time. And uh, I'm a long-time dog owner. I have a pit bull now, and I had one a while ago. My ex got him or her, but, well, you know, it, it's, all, it's all okay. It's all okay. Yeah. At least taken care of very well either yeah, way. Very well. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so you're supporting uh, Rebecca's organization today? Yeah, uh, I love Rebecca. She's a genius. She's very, very funny. And the fact that she t finds time, you know, aside from a comedy career, to have a heart and be a, a great human uh, is amazing. And uh, I love dogs and, you know, pit bulls, of course. And so uh, this is an easy yes. And uh, where can we find you on social media? Uh, I'm on a Twitter for now <laughs> as uh, AnnieLaurie16. Uh, I have a podcast called The Jackie and Laurie Show with Jackie Cation, and I have an album out called Corset. Oh, and what's your podcast about? It, it's two female comics just talking about comedy. And we've been doing it for like five years. You would have thought we would have ran out of stuff, but there's so many scandals <laughs> <laughs> and so much bitchiness and comedy that it just keeps going. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> so here we are at our annual Stand Up for Pigs. Yes, indeed. I, I see every you year. every year. I will come out and support. She's the only person that will get me off the couch on a Sunday in November. Exactly, yes, right? To come support her. I know, but right. to support her and Santa for Pits, I will always be here no matter what. So, um, what does this organization mean to you, Chris? Uh, she's done such a wonderful job um, with the um, helping of, of uh, BSL and brand specific legislation about getting that um, terminated. So, uh, and, and showing that people can have pit bulls are only trained to do what you train them to do. So if you want them to be bad, they'll be bad. If you want them to be good, they'll be great. They were called the nanny dogs, which they would do babysitting for children back in the 20s and 30s. And uh, they're such wonderful creatures. And she's done such a wonderful job advocating um, positive images of pit bull or pibbles or pit bull type dogs. So I'm really proud of her. Did you see Mama yet? That's went up for adoption today. She's so cute. Oh, wonderful. No, I did not see that. Great outfit. You love her. Oh, great. Wonderful. All right. So um, what are you up to? Any projects you can talk about? Uh, I'm on uh, the Upshaws on Netflix and Amazon Prime uh, show called Upload. And I have a CSI Vegas coming out soon. So I'm trying to stay busy. exciting. Yeah, yeah. Staying busy. Okay. And uh, where can we find you on social media? I'm at, at Chris dot Williams underscore on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Good seeing you. Are at Stand Up for Pits with Howie. Tell Walfish. everyone. Yes. Mr. Howie Walfish. Mr. Howie Walfish. And uh, tell us why you're here tonight, Howie. Because I had a pit bull for 10 years that was abandoned in front of my house. It came out like at 1:30 in the morning. There's this pit bull uh, tied to a telephone pole. He wasn't fixed. He was a pit bull. The, my girl I was living with started to go over to him, 
And I said, you know, you got to be careful. That's a pit bull. And he just rolled on his back and he was all like, love me up, love me up. She had an 85 pound standard poodle, the calmest dog I've ever known. We brought the pit in the house. He would walk underneath the poodle. And I started to learn about pit bulls. And I don't know how long she's had this going, but I think it was right around the time that we got that pit bull that she got stand up for pits going. So I paid attention to her journey. And, and then recently, she's constantly posting on Instagram, fostering saves life, fostering. So I finally approached my friend who I rent a room from and said, you know, we got we got to do it. And this, this pup right here, can you see that? She was due for the euthanasia room the next morning. They were going to put this beautiful creature to sleep. It's, it was unbelievable. So I, um, I said, I'll foster her. And she, I've known a lot of dogs, but this was the sweetest dog I've ever known. And why I'm here, really, to be honest with you, is I wanted to show Rebecca personally that her constant uh, pounding and repeating of fostering says that paid off. She's now in her forever home. Uh, it's been a rough couple of days. I had her longer than I expected. And, uh, you know, I got it pretty attached. But but now I can foster another dog, so. Oh, that's so wonderful, Howie. It's so, yeah. it's so heartwarming and it, it shows, I mean, what everybody individually can do, but also, you know, with Rebecca's message, what, you know, people are hearing her message and yes. helping. Repetition is key and it paid off with me and I'm sure it's paid off with others. And she doesn't lay it, let up, she is like a, uh, She's just this little, this, this petite force of nature, you know. And uh, I give her all the credit in the world. I mean, she's, to me, I watched this thing from when it started. It, it's just amazing, really. And I, I, I didn't check the numbers yet. Uh, maybe I won the 1.5 billion Powerball. And if I did, she's getting a big check. Well, Actually, I, I, think, I think we'll deliver it in cash, suitcases. <laughs> suitcases of crisp hundreds, lots of them. I love that. I love that. And that's a good cause if you do win. Wonderful. Cause. I know. We got to take care of the dogs. And where can people find you on social media? Mr. Mr. Howie W on Instagram. I love that. And I'm Howie Walfish on Facebook. What's one L on Walfish? And God bless the pips and God bless all the dogs. Love it. Thank you, Howie. Have fun tonight. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Jackie. You. This is my side. This is my good side. It is? Good. Mm -hmm. That's all that's important. I apologize. I have gum in my mouth. No, that's all right. I'll put it over there. <laughs> so there tell us go. your name. Uh, hi, I'm Pete Lee, and uh, I'm a comedian here. I'm going to be performing on the stand-up for, for Pitts show. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a wonderful organization. It is amazing. Uh, I've known Rebecca Corey for, gosh, 15 years. We did our stand-up specials on Comedy Central together. And um, I've known her passion for pits for forever. Um, I don't have a pit, I have a, a rescue Frenchie, but dogs mean the world to me. And I just think that people who are, people who are kind to dogs are the best people in the world. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, we got a, we got a little excitement there yeah, on the we carpet. Yeah, we have some excitement. It's an exciting carpet, that's for sure. So, um, so where can we find info on you? Um, if you go to my website, peatly.net, or if you go to my Instagram or TikTok, um, I'm at Peatley, Peatley, Peatley. I love that. That's a fun one. I couldn't get Peatley, so it's my name three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Peatley, Peatley, Peatley. That's very clever. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you liking that TikTok stuff? I love it. Um, like, I, um, wait, well, um, I got to take this gum out of my mouth. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm not doing well with it. Uh, I always have a paper towel in my back pocket. Um, I also probably have a couple dog bags in here. Um, like the doggy do good poop bags. <laughs> I love that. Well, you're always prepared. Um, I'm always prepared for everything. Um, how am I loving TikTok? I, I love it. Like at first I resisted it like everybody else. Like, oh, we got to do another social media. And then it started to go well for me. And um, I started being able to like fill up shows because of all the TikTokers. And I'm like, I don't know. Isn't that... It's not like anything when you feel love from people, you're like, oh, well, I love this. I love you know? this. Totally. It's Absolutely. All love, you know? Well, yeah. have fun tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>